Welcome to mechanical tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like surface modeling, sheet metal and enclosure design, product design, plastic components design, reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I am going to explain about how to create logo emboss and deboss with extrude by converting image to DXF not with raw feature so this is the deboss feature and this is the emboss feature so I am going to show you how to create these two features in SOLIDWORKS so let's start now So initially we have to select any image from the website we have to select a free logos so we can copy this image into MS Paint and we can save anywhere we want it. So I'm going to save it here. And uh, you can rename it. So logo zero one. So this is the image. And uh, We can use this image and import into Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop and we can convert into DXF file. If it is not possible with the two software, I am going to show you simple method. Simply use PowerPoint, select text command, simply create a logo with text image so we can increase the text size and change the font Arial rounded we can create text logo and save it as JPEG. So we can create as a Go Flex. So, yeah. so this is the logo create. This is the customized logo. So this is the one of the easiest method. Now what we have to do is we have to go to this website Conversio and we can import this image and we have to select CAD option and DXF. So we are going to convert this JPEG image into DXF file. Simply we have to say convert. So it is converted simply we can download this file and we have to go to this download folder so we can copy this to our location see so it is converted with the file name goflex1 So this is the DXF file. Now what we have to do is we have to go to new SOLIDWORKS part file select any plane 
and we have to select insert and we have to select here dxf this is for importing the dxf file open this now select next see here we should be careful inches we have to keep millimeters so we should be careful with the units next and say finish see here so this is not a editable file so we have to select right click and make edit sketch so now we can edit this so after importing this file we can use it for boss extrude or cut extrude so now i am going to show you how to create emboss feature on a component mostly for plastic components and deboss feature see before creating uh, this feature i am going to create this block in solveworks so select the front plane go to sketch take take rectangle Twelve hundred by five hundred. Go to extrude feature, extrude boss. Go to mid plane. Two hundred. Now apply fillets. Two hundred. So one fifty and I'm going to create one more in other direction. One fifty. See here. now select a face or a plane and we can insert dxf file see here Yeah, it is not editable. Go to make edit and right click, and we can move to any location we wanted. See here. So this is how we can place uh, this uh, sketch. now we can create these features i am going to show you how to use extrude for creating these features i have imported two sketches one for extruded boss and extruded cut this sketch is on the front plane so select this sketch go to extruded boss select blind option and take an depth of 110 and say okay see here i am going to hide this uh, sketch see here so you can see here 
this logo is not uniform see it is 15.47 and this is 11.42 so to avoid such problem what we have to do is go to extruded boss edit feature instead of blind select offset from the surface so the face instead of uh, this flat surface we have to select this then this is just 10 mm and uh, we have to reverse offset and select translate the translate surface is very much important so that it be it would be in uniform thickness from the top surface so i'm going to show you the difference and say okay see here now this is 10 mm and this is 10 mm so it is uniform irrespective of the face now if you want to make a shell command for plastic components so i'm going to take 1 mm and remove this face see here see one of the advantage uh, with uh, boss extrude is it's uh, easy to edit than raw feature now similarly i am going to explain for deboss feature so i am going to show this sketch so this sketch is on the top face see here it is on the top face select this sketch go to extruded cut see here here also instead of blind we have to select offset from the surface and we have to select this face and 10 mm and we have to select reverse offset and translate surface see here and say okay see here so forgot to suppress this shell feature so now i'm going to hide it see here so this is with uniform uniform thickness now we can apply the shell and say okay see here we can say engraving or deboss so the advantage is that this extrude boss and extrude cut easy for editing so we can modify easily this is the advantage so this is a brief about how to create logo emboss and deboss with extrude features thanks for watching